Hey all, how you doing? So, uh, today I think uh, I'd like to go over a little bit of, I guess you might call it music theory. Um, I've written hundreds of songs and I've had people locally here ask how, how you do that. They, they uh, look at you like that's uh, something that's nearly impossible to do. Uh, it, to me, seems rather easy. So, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess to some people it does come easy. So, in order to uh, to make sure that uh, people that have the talent, the gift, if you will, uh, can exploit that, I'll give you a few tips on how I do it. Um, so, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's experiment and do uh, songwriting. Um, what I do when I decide to write a song a lot of times I don't really decide to write a song what it is is I have an instrument in my hand and I'm learning a song or just or just playing just having a good time and then I start messing around and play something and I'm like oh that's cool and I don't think I've ever heard that in a other song before or whatever and <clears throat> as Robert Plant once said uh, for in Led Zeppelin uh, every little spark has to grow uh, and um, so that that's kind of how it starts. It's a spark and it grows. But you can actually decide to write a song. That That's also effective. Um, although I've found uh, many times it's less effective, but it is effective. Um, and when you want to write a song uh, and you're standing here and you don't even have an instrument in your hand, the first thing you got to do is pick an instrument. You can write a song with any instrument. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, some of uh, the songs that I've written that people seem to like the most, I wrote with uh, with the drums or with a uh, drum machine playing in the background. And so I, I basically started off with the drums and a bass or a guitar usually. Um, so uh, I, I suppose the best way to do this is to actually write something. So. Uh, one thing that I always keep around, it's not always the same one, it's many times different, many times in books and wherever, but I always keep a, a list of chords around. Now I know the chords and everything, but it, it never hurts to have them there and give you ideas for something to just twang around on. So uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, one important thing is you have to be comfortable doesn't matter if you're sitting or standing, but you have to be comfortable. So what I'm going to do is start getting comfortable. <clears throat> All right, sitting comfortably. I've chosen an instrument and I've picked my favorite, the acoustic guitar. Uh, love the acoustic because you just pick it up and play it. And uh, I'm just going to, I think tonight I'm going to play around with some chords until I get something that sounds good. Now, one thing you you know you will probably want to keep in mind is that there's only so many notes and there's only so many chords, and there's a good chance that it's already been done before. Um, but the thing is, you want to try to do it differently. Um, you don't want to be able to recognize what you're playing as something someone else has already played. Uh, sometimes, eventually, you'll, you'll I'll put a whole song together. And then somebody goes, you know, that sounds just like that CCR song, or that sounds just like that GNR song, or whatever. And uh, you're like, damn, you know. Well, that happens. It's just going to happen. Especially if you've been listening to music and you've got that in your head, it, it'll go to the back of your mind. You don't realize that you're basically copying a song. You don't want to do that. But you don't have to worry. What you have to do is not worry about it and just play and have fun. Mm -hmm. So. I, I like to start in G a lot, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Going to use a pick this time, and of course, it's a, it's a cactus pick, medium, in green. You have to decide where to go.
simple chord progression that I've made up just now. It's a G, A minor, C, E minor, G, A minor, C, and D. Now what you do, or at least what I do, is you play those chords over and over and over again. And you'll eventually come up with words. They just come to you. Um, here, one of the little tricks that I'll use is if the words don't come to me over I get partial song, and I don't get the whole thing, then I'll use a voice recorder, a little digital voice recorder, and play the chords over and over again for as long as I can stand to do it into that voice recorder. And uh, sometimes while I'm doing that, the new idea will come out. Other times, when I'm doing that, uh, I'll take this along with me on a drive and plug it into my stereo. And uh, then uh, you'll find yourself singing to the music and just words coming out. And the bet then you pull over and write them down. It's that easy. Something like this. I just changed the chords. Maybe I'll do that for the chords. Fun. Uh, I hardly ever let anyone hear it, but uh, I do it for fun. Is I'll get on 
and I'll find guitar backing tracks, it's called, on YouTube. And, uh, and I'll write songs to the guitar backing tracks, not just guitar, you know, uh, how do you say, not just burning off riffs and licks and stuff, but actually write, write words to it. The thing about writing words is you tend to get better the more you do it. And if you don't keep doing it, then you never get better. Um, uh, how, how they say, a writer writes always. And um, so, you know, I'm a little bit out of practice. I haven't wrote a lot of songs over the last few years. I've wrote a few here and there. But, uh, you know, it does get easier and you get better as you go. And I, I could definitely use a lot of brushing up and getting better myself. But anyways, that's the start of it. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just show you uh, the rest of the process later. Uh, but uh, it, it's pretty simple. You, you find a few chords that you like, how it sounds when you play them. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be simple. Uh, or you can do it on the bass. You can even do it on the drums, piano, keyboard, whatever. Find an instrument, play something you think sounds neat and uh, doesn't sound like something you've heard before and uh, and just sit there and play a pattern over and over and over and eventually words will come into your head. It's just a, a natural uh, human matrixing basically and, uh, and it works really nice and yeah, it's, a lot of times the words will be related to something that you think or feel, something about your life, but that's... That's how you write on the things that you know. You draw on the stuff that you know. I don't know if I'm helping anybody out there, but I'm going to put this out there, and maybe in 151 and a half years, uh, someone will find it and go, yeah, I'm going to write music like that, and they'll become this great big rock star. You know? <laughs> so, uh, all right. Anyway, uh, uh, it's a little embarrassing, actually, for me to show you my process. I, I normally do this when I'm all alone. And there's no one else in the room, uh, unless I have like a, um, a lot of times I'll have one other guy who is, is on the same plane of thought that I am. Uh, uh, and there's very few people that are like that I can sit in a room and write music with. It's weird, but it's, you're opening your soul and your, and your mind and your heart all up. And it's hard to do that in front of someone who isn't the perfect person to sit there in front of and do that. Um, at least it is for me. I'm, I'm a little bit, believe it or not, uh, a little shy when it comes to revealing what's in here, you know. And that's what music does. And once you write it down, it's a lot easier to do that. But to actually sit there and write it, you're talking it out sometimes, you know. And, and it becomes very apparent what's in that person's soul. And uh, so, I mean, if you can't do it in front of people, don't feel bad. Most of us can't. And... Uh, if you find someone you can do it in front of, uh, that's a very special thing, and you should write music with that person. Um, but anyways, um, that's that's how I do it. I don't mean to ramble on. I'm not going to show you a whole bunch of it, um, but uh, you know, if you're curious, uh, let me know, and and I'll show you more. Uh, if you want, I'll show you how to multi-track. When I write, I usually uh, do a multi-track recording of it and get a good feel for what all the different instruments are going to be doing and everything. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of people have trouble multi-tracking. It sounds like something that should be easy to do, but for some reason people have a lot of trouble with it. And, um, you know, I, I, can, I can lend a little help there. Uh, if you want, then just let me know. I know most of the people watching this video are mainly watching just for entertainment purposes and that's fine too uh, but uh, you know I mean if, if I'm really helping you or you really need something a piece of advice or whatever I might be able I might be able to help I've been doing this for a long time so um, anyway everybody have a good day out there and uh, we'll see you all next video